Hey guys, it's that Dividend Guy coming at you with another Robin Hood portfolio update. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully everybody's having a GGD, a great green day in the market. You know I always wish the best for my viewers and subscribers. So guys, today we're going to go over the overall portfolio, how doing today, the day, month, week, three month, year to date, one year in all time, all those metrics as well as the buying power, the individual stock stocks within the portfolio and how they're performing as well as my watch list and the prices, I would look at adding those companies. So guys, let's jump right in. Today, we're up around $400, right around 0.8%. For the week, we are up $617, up 1.23%. The one month mark, we are up almost over a little over $1,100, up 2.5%. Three month mark, though, we are down $1,300, almost 14 down just about as much as we were up for the month. Year to date, we are down only $130. Year to date, we are down nearly, well, I wanted to say four grand, but $3,900, down about 7%. And then all time, we are up four, or sorry, $15,044.36, up 42% all time. Have a buying power currently of $15.83. Jumping into the portfolio now, starting out with realty income. We are down a bit today, down about 75 cents or a little over 1%, 143 shares, $8,800 of market value. Average cost is $67.10. Right around 17.5% of the portfolio is in realty income. Today, we're down about 100 bucks. Total, we're down $738 or down right about 7.7% with a dividend coming in on the 14th of April of $36.47. Great cost on average opportunity here for realty income. Then we've got Coca-Cola down only 14 cents today, 10 shares, 625 of market value. Average cost is right around 61 bucks per share. 1.23% of the portfolio is in Coca-Cola. Today we're down $1.40. Total we're up 17 bucks, only up about 3% on Coca-Cola. And guys, if you've been watching for any amount of time, you know that right now I'm trying to get 100 shares of Coca-Cola, but I want to do it at a price that makes sense, so I'm not going to be adding to it if it's above my my average cost. So I'm not touching Coca-Cola right now, but there will be opportunities in the future where I can add a few shares with dividends or new cash um, and really bump up that total because I do want 100 shares by the end of the year. Then we got Altria, which is actually up today, 315 shares, 14K worth of market value. Average cost is 47.34. 28% of the portfolio is in Altria. Today we're up right around $190. Total, we're down a little over 700 bucks, down about 5% here on Altria stock, but a dividend coming in on April 28th, so right at the end of the month, of $296.10. And guys, with the... Um, Realty income dividend, that's going to put us right around $130 worth of passive income this, or sorry, $330 worth of passive income this month, which is our highest paying month, 14710. So got to love that passive income. And right now, I think I'm going to be putting that into T row price. But if realty income stays as low as it is, I might be bumping that up. Or even if Altria stays as low or gets lower depending on what stock is at the lowest price when that dividend at the end of the month comes in. That's where I'll be allocating that capital. Next, we've got Apple, which dropped about a buck today. Only one share. Of course, our market value is what the stock price is currently at 161.21 because I only have that one single share. Average cost, though, is 132, so we're up pretty big on Apple. 0.32% of the portfolio is in Apple stock. Today, like I said, we're down about 80 cents. Total, we're up nearly $29, up 21.5% on Apple. Gotta love that, guys. But just like with <clears throat> just like with Coca-Cola, I'm not adding it at these prices. I wish it was lower so I could add more of this phenomenal company. I love this company. I want more of it. Eventually, I want it to eclipse something like Abvi, but currently, it's just at too high of a price. I do think you should pay up for quality, but I don't think you should pay up that much. So I'm going to wait until it's right around 133 to 100 maybe $35, and then I'll add. Then we've got... Abby, which is up a buck today, which is a really big return for me. 95 shares, 15K worth of market value. Average cost is 95.19. 30% of the portfolio is in Abby. Sipping on a Coca Cola. <laughs> 
Today, we're up about 100 bucks. Total, we're up $6,300, up 70% on AbV. Just love this company. I'm just going to let the money sit there and compound. I really do wish this would tank, but just like Apple, it's up. But I'm not complaining. Great double-digit return. 70% um, I can live with. <laughs> I'm happy with it. So, But I will admit, 30% having a third of your money. I believe the other the other two, Altria was about 30% um, as well. And I know realty income is about 15%. So altogether, guys, this is like 70 60 or 70 percent of the portfolio between Avi Real Realty and Altria. So yes, I do want my allocation total to go down. I don't want 30 percent of my of my total investment dollars in Avi, but I think that will go down. Well, I know that will go down eventually because I will be adding to other positions like Coca Cola, Apple, or T Rowe Price. So or Realty Income for that matter. Um, so anything else besides Avi in the portfolio, I would love to add, but not at that big of a premium. Next, we've got T. Rowe Price, which is actually up today, $2.11. So we have 101 shares. I did buy a share with dividends, which is awesome. I love that even if I don't have the extra capital at, th at this point in time to be putting it into the portfolio, that the portfolio makes its own money. $11,000 worth of market value. Average cost is right around $122 per share. 22% of the portfolio is in T. Rowe Price. Today, we're up $215. Total, we're down still $900, down about 7%. So as of right now, with current upside, I do think that T. Rowe Price is the best deal within the portfolio as of right now. So I would be excited to put more cash into T. Rowe Price, and I do plan on doing that if it stays at these lower prices. Now, of course, if something like AbV or Apple dropped, or even if realty income stays at that level, I might put more money into realty income, but the upside is not as high as T. Rowe price. So that's why I say I will put the money into T. Rowe. Now, jumping right into the watch list, starting off, we've got Google. So at 106.20, 52-week upside, 52-week high is 132. So we've got, say, about say $20, $24 bucks worth of upside. I'd buy it here. Um, I want to get it closer to 100 bucks though. Then with Visa, I've said every day I want around 190 so I'm sleeping on it here. I'm waiting. It is a premium just like Apple, and I'm not buying it at this high of a multiple. Um, I do love Visa. The business is solid. The margins are insane. Um, the free cash flow is just they're, they're just a free cash flow machine. So this is one of those businesses that it seems like whatever I put it up against, even Microsoft does have better cash flows. But margin-wise, I think Visa, Visa wins it, and... Um, Part of the reason why I switched out Microsoft for Visa was because I use a Visa card every single day. The other company that I was looking at is McDonald's, which I love. I eat there all the time. I know it's fast food, but I love the movie The Founder, love the, the whole history behind McDonald's, and I wouldn't mind owning it eventually, but for right now, I'm trying to keep the amount of stocks pretty concise and focus on the companies that I really want to own. So Visa definitely fits that criteria. The other one I was looking into was Otis, which is a spinoff from United Technologies. Um, and they are an elevator owner, operator, and well, manufacturer and repairer. So they build the elevators. They have it in like the Eiffel Tower and the World Trade Center. They had it in there um, as well as the Empire State Building. So anywhere there's an elevator and escalator, they pretty much build it, which is cool. But again, margins aren't as, aren't as thick as Visa's. And free cash flow and profitability aren't as good either. So it seems like any company that I put Visa against, the only one that was close was Microsoft. Um, but I would rather own Visa than Microsoft personally just because I actually have a daily relationship with Visa versus Microsoft. So um, with that being said, guys, last, of course, is Berkshire. I'm not surprised to see it going up. I think... Um, we might see a pretty big spike with Berkshire. Could be wrong, but the Berkshire Annual Hathaway meeting is coming up, and uh, earnings reports are going to be coming out if they haven't already, and I'm sure they did really well with insurance because they have a really long history of doing pretty consistent, consistently well with insurance. So that's how he made his, made his billions. I almost said millions, but billions was insurance premiums and investing the difference. So love Berkshire. If I could own Seize Candy and Geico as standalone companies, I would. Um, Seize Candy is one of my favorites, and it's probably the the closest thing that I'll ever own to owning Mars, which is one of the private companies I, I want to own. So, same with State Farm. Um, I I've looked at other insurance companies, and while the ratios are decent, um, I think State Farm would be a better better buy than all than Allstate or Chubb 
or there's um, there's a lot of them. Um, but I do. De I definitely do want um, to own Berkshire, but I want to own it around three hundred bucks. So just like Apple, I think it's at a bit of a premium here. And while I do think that Berkshire can command a premium price, um, I want to buy it where I'm comfortable buying it. So with that being said, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, remember to hit the subscribe button on my channel, that dividend guy, and hit the notification bell. I try to do videos Monday through Friday. I've been trying to put out one to two videos a day um, every weekday. So if you like consistency here on YouTube and want to watch me grow from I mean, at this point, guys, the portfolio, I think, started at 20 to 30. I think it was 25 to 30K. Now we're at 50. Eventually, it's going to be 100. And then eventually, it's going to be 2, 5, 7, a million. So, I mean, it's, it's going to happen. It just, just got to give me some time. So, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another update. Take care.